has a very interesting story to tell us. He was born in the war zone in Vietnam. At the age of four, he saw the total destruction of his parents' village by the North Vietnamese communists. He had witnessed the killings and brutality of the communists. His family seen no future under the communist regime. He knew their sons had to escape. On his 11th attempt, he, exceed, he succeeded by boat and was rescued at sea by a German freighter. He settled in the United States in 1981 after, after years of waiting in a refugee camp. He finally found the life of freedom and dignity he so long sought in the United States. He realized that over 58,000 Americans Soldiers had sacrificed their lives in his country. He knew he had to serve his new nation. He joined the United States Navy, serving multiple deployments, dreaming of becoming a Navy pilot. In his sixth year, he was injured, performing his duties, and received a medical separation. He returned to school and graduated with a Doctor of Pharmacy program at Nova Southeastern University. He authored the book, The Escapes, My Journey to Freedom. And I'll present you Du Hua. The 
South Vietnam, the Republic of South Vietnam, the American Armed Force, defeated the Communists of Vietnam in the Tet Offensive, 1968. Let me repeat, the Republic of South Vietnam and the American Armed Force defeated the Communists of Vietnam in the Tet Offensive, 1968. After deterring the hill invasion from the north, the people from the south tried to resume their normal lives. However, the North Vietnam communists would never up, never give up their ambition to take over the international recognized free and sovereign nation, South, nation of South Vietnam. The war went on. My families and many others continued struggling for our lives. Then the darkest day in April 1975, the Republic of South Vietnam that brought to the collapse, the panic, and the fall of Saigon, the real disaster of the South Vietnamese people, the South Vietnam that fallen into the hand of the communists. My people had to accept their fate. We had to live under the oppression of the communists. I was just a young boy, an aspirant firsthand, very hard, manual labor throughout my teen years. It was obvious there was no future for the young generations. And somehow, I was told I could have the opportunity to find the way out. I wanted to follow the path of my brothers and sisters have been fighting for, the path of freedom. I still remember very well how our men and women fought for freedom. My Vietnam veterans, I saw you there. You have been in my village scouting and fighting the enemy. I saw you standing tall, heroically, with the South Vietnamese soldiers and suppressing the invasion of the communists. I saw you protecting my village and making me and all the children laugh. You brought the freedom to my village. You are my angels. I know you. I know you're not just only doing the duty for your own country, but you're doing the duty for the whole humanity. My Vietnam veterans, seeing you left my village, these youngsters tried to follow your path, your path, but the path didn't come easy for this young man. He had tried 11 times before he made before he made it out to the oceans. But the desperation did not stop there. His boat was running for five days and five nights in the deep sea with the strong wind and big waves. And this tiny, tiny unworthy watercraft did not reach the destination. The boat was lost water and food running out, the fuel almost gone, and the worst storm was about to come. The people in the boat knew that they were facing imminent death. They began praying to God to take their soul to heaven, while their body was sinked to the deepest ocean floor. In September 1982, I finally got an airplane ticket to go to the United States of America. That was one of the happiest days of my life. I knew that I finally reached my destination, the destination of freedom. Freedom is not free. My Vietnam veterans, thank you for showing me that you have so much humanity in your heart. Thank you for showing me what freedom is all about. Thank you. But this young man didn't follow you here to meet you 
and say thank you in Christmas of 1987. I was proud to become one of you. As soon as I could speak, read, and write English, I joined the United States Navy. I went through the most struggle to seek freedom, then I fought to protect it. Freedom is not free. I realized that people shouldn't take the present freedom for granted. I therefore wrote the book, This Gap and My Journey to Freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, I wrote this book through my eyes. This is the story of life and death, good and evil, hardship and fortune. But the most important of all, this book will tell you, freedom is not free. I would like people to understand the real faces of the communist of Vietnam. I also need to tell you the other side of the Vietnam War. After the fall of Saigon, my Vietnam veterans, I saw you there, and I thank you. I couldn't thank you enough. There were more than 58,479 American lives, and there were more than 300,000 of South Vietnamese Air Force had paid the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom of Vietnam. How can this death? be repaid. They are my heroes. There are more than 662 BOW in the Vietnam War. How could you imagine what our BOW went through with the barbaric community of Vietnam? The brutality of the community of Vietnam caused the pain and suffering far beyond description. My own BOW, thank you for your sacrifice. There are almost then, almost more than 4,000 missing nations. Decades, decades have passed. But I know, I know the agonies still with their families. Today, we dedicate those, to those brave souls who ultimate sacrifice have made the world a better, better place for all humanity. My Vietnam veterans, thank you. Without you, there will be no freedom! My Vietnam veterans, thank you. Thank you for getting... Let me hear the voice today. But this is not my own voice. This is the voice of the entire people of South Vietnam. Please, please accept this word from the heart, from the, our heart and our soul. Thank you and welcome home. Thank you and welcome home. My name is Dr. Du Hua. I was born in the 60s, and I was born in the war zone. I saw the killings and the destruction by the war when I was just a very little boy. I witnessed the brutalities of the communists throughout my life. <laughs> Take this up.
good opportunity for you to say thank you to our vet veterans. All veterans. Okay, two, ready now? One, two, three. three. Thank you, our veterans, for freedom. All right. Woo! trying to take over the South, which is the communists, trying to invade the South. And they finally did. Unfortunately, it's very tragic. That happened in April 1975. They took over the South. And we call it the fall of Saigon, or the fall of the republics of South Vietnam. My breathing was so fast. My heart was racing heavily. And the panicking was unbelievable. I was so scared. You know why? Because I would get shot, killed, or captured, and sent to the deep jungle for the hard labor by the communists of Vietnam. Playing with my friend under many beautiful moonlight was so beautiful. I remember that vividly. But suddenly one night, one night while we were playing, an unfam unfamiliar noise erupted in the middle of the playground. Boom! Boom! The sound, the sound of the machine gun have erased a peaceful atmosphere of the children who were playing. They have turned that into the night of terror. Dr. Hua is a primary source. You say good afternoon to Dr. Hua. Good afternoon, Dr. Hua. Good afternoon, my young friend. How are you? Good, how are you? All right, good. I'm excited to be here to, to see you, to meet you. After the turn, the huge invasion from the north, the people, the south, trying to resume their normal life. However, the North Vietnamese communists never want to give up the ambition to take over the South. The war went on. My family and many others continue struggling with our daily life. Hi, dear middle school, sixth grade. We love our veterans. Thank you for taking care of us and keeping us free. All right. Good job. Beautiful. Great. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Ms. Giancarlo. And I present to you Dr. Hua. Can you say good afternoon to Dr. Hua? Good afternoon, Dr. Hua. Good afternoon, my students. <laughs> How are you? Good I'm here middle school, sixth grade. We love our veterans. Thank you for taking care of us and keeping us free. It's my pleasure to introduce a remarkable person. I had the pleasure of hearing him speak just this past Monday at the Memorial Day services at the Fort Lauderdale Cemetery that the city um, does every year. 
He has a remarkable story. He's a brave man. He's a veteran. He became an American citizen after getting out of Vietnam. And with further, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Duhok. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Uh, Wendy Locker, who have a major connection to Thank Nancy. <laughs> I want to, and open all the teachers here. And I thank you for you guys to be here. Let's run, my friend shouted. I ran home quickly. And my whole family rushed into the bunker inside the home. <gasps> the shooting continued the next several minutes long. I realized that Viet Cong had launched an attack, attack to my village. The horror night was over. But much tragic news spread throughout the village the next morning. My worst news was one of my best friend's father got shot and killed in the night. The night. I firmly believe that for the love of our country, there's still much more we can do. And I want to do more. But I love my new country. I would like to thank you for listening from the bottom of my heart. And God bless. We are the eighth grade from St. Jerome Catholic School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we would like to say Thank you, veterans, for freedom! this interesting, and I'm sure you will. I will please welcome Dr. Hua. Thank you. How are you this morning? First, I want to thank John, Mr. John Boer. We happened to meet. And what a special person that I was lucky to see. And, uh, I want to thank you so much for going to make the connections. And I also thank for the, uh, uh, the, the school, the great school, Nova High, for me to be here, to have, uh, have the opportunity to talk with you uh, about what I go through. Consequently, the people have accepted their faith, and they had to live under the oppression of the communists, my family, like all others. We had to follow their rules and regulations. My family were forced to move to the wild land. We had to clear the jungles so we can plant vegetables and tomatoes for a living. I was just a young boy and I experienced the first hand of very hard manual labor throughout my teen years. In September of 1982, I finally received an airplane ticket to come to this United States of America. It was the most 
the happiest day of my life. I knew. I finally reached my destination. The destination of freedom.
the communist regime continued to show their aggressiveness and brutality to the South Vietnamese people. Millions of Vietnamese fled the country in many, in many different ways. The wave of the poor people rushed to escape the red <coughs> evil communists with the unseaworthy water crafts. Nearly, nearly half of a million boat people died and sank to the deepest ocean floor of the Pacific Ocean. Many got dropped, raped by the Thai pirates. The fate of the South Vietnamese people was in the darkest in the human history. Now, after 37 years after the fall of Saigon, the people of Vietnam are still suffering under the most corrupted communist regime in every level. There's no human right in any, of any kind in Vietnam. The freedom and democracy are totally suppressed. And I want to thank Kenneth Parkinson who allowed this uh, to happen for me to be here. And I want to thank you for your organization. Give me the opportunity to be here to talk about what I have to say about my journey. Continue on with struggles. I live in the new country, the new society with a new language. Language barriers have been the hardest obstacles for my new life. But I was determined. I knew what I had to do to become a good son of my new motherland. In Christmas of 1987, I was so proud and happy to wear one of the uniform of the armed forces. Armed forces. I was part of the U.S. United States Navy. I served my new country on my ship, my carrier CV-66, USS America. young man. I had to try, I had tried to escape 11 times before I made it out to the ocean. But the desperation did not stop there. His boat was running for five days and five nights in the deep sea with strong wind and big wave and this tiny, unworthy watercraft did not reach any destination. 
the boat was lost. The water and food supply was running out. The fuel was almost empty. And the worst storm is, was about to come. The people in the boat knew that we, they were facing even the death. They began chanting to God and after God to save their soul, to take their soul to heaven. So their body was sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. Dear member of the dear deputy post, my friends, we would like to uh, express the deepest appreciation to uh, Progressive Insurance Company. This company has gone out its way to provide love, help, and support to our veterans who was willing to sacrifice themselves to protect the freedom and democracy for our country so America can sleep well at night. The event today has signified that Progressive Insurance Company will always stand, stand by our servicemen and women so they can keep America free. This company knows that veterans put the free in the freedom. Furthermore, this company was so remarkable to be a partner of, with a wonderful organization called VFW Post 1966. A bunch of great veterans get together with the Post Progressive Insurance Company to help provide a meaningful event like this one. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, we are still fighting very strong for America. I am so proud to be part of VFW Post 1966. We understand freedom is not free. Talking about freedom, I myself was willing to die in seeking freedom. I have tried 11 times to escape the brutal communists of Vietnam. I am blessed to be alive, well, and free at last. When I found the freedom in America, I spoke no English, but had, I had become a sailor of the United States Navy in the process. And I, I am now a doctor of pharmacy, and I'm serving my people in my new mother's land. I even wrote the book, The Escape and My Journey to Freedom. This book will tell the story of life and death, good and evil, hardship and fortune. But the most important, the most important thing of all, Tell people freedom is not free. Thank you very much. My Vietnam veterans, I saw you there. You have been in my village, scouting and fighting the enemies. I saw you standing tall heroically with the South Vietnamese armed force. 
and suppressing the invasion of the communists. I saw you helping the sick and the injured to the South Vietnamese people. I saw you protecting my village and making me and all the children laugh. You brought the freedom to my village. You are our angels. I know you are not doing the duty just for your own country, but you're doing the duty of all humanity. I couldn't thank you enough. There were more than 58,479 American lives. And there are more than 300,000 of South Vietnamese soldiers have paid their ultimate sacrifice. How, how could this debt be repaid? There are more than 662 POW for the war in Vietnam. How could you imagine what our BOW went through with the barbaric communist of Vietnam? The brutality of the communist of Vietnam caused the pain and the suffering far beyond description. The public record of the communist practices with BOW is all too clear of a 500 and 59 shut down in the Laos territory, fewer than 10 returned. Even missionaries and civilians from the U.S. doing humanitarian work were captured and abducted and never returned home. My POW, I thank you for your sacrifice. Today, we are commemorating all those, especially over 58 American soldiers and over 300,000 Vietnamese soldiers who have courageously fight side by side for, and sacrifice their lives. Kính thưa quý vị, bây giờ là giờ phút mà chúng ta đã chờ đợi từ 7 năm nay, vải phủ tượng đài sẽ được mở ra. The statue symbol of the appreciation. Now is the moment of truth, the moment that we have waiting for seven years. We would like to ask everyone, please stand. Chúng tôi kính mời tất cả quý vị cùng đứng lên. We also...